Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another quick video. All right, y'all, back with some more boxing talk. As y'all know, in the boxing world, y'all seen Keith Thurman. He done shocked the whole boxing world on his Instagram. You know, he cut the locks off, chopped the ponytail off. New year, new look. But we'll see if it's a new Keith Thurman, though, right? I mean, I've seen so many fighters do this in the past where they you know, shave the head, get the tattoos, whole new fighter on the outside, but the same old fighter still resides on the inside. You know, the heart, the old ways, the discipline is still the same. So we'll see if that's the case with Keith Thurman. You know, and uh, really the haircut, it couldn't have come at a better time because um, I was going to do this video last week on Keith Thurman just to kick off 2021 and uh, discuss his career a little bit. You know, not really as a whole, but, you know, just on why I feel like 2021 is really going to be his last shot at being at his best to to try to challenge for the welterweight crown once again you know i just feel like there's just so many reasons and, and you know the obvious reason on why this is going to be his like last year to really crunch down and try to get those titles again is because because of his age you know he's 32 years old and um going by keith thurman you know a guy that has so many injuries you know now's the time to get it to make sure he's in physical shape he's healthy mentally and physically because the older he gets the more and more he starts to uh have these type of injuries it's going to be hard to recover from it you know it's going to be hard to recover so now is the time to make sure he's healthy and go in there and get it and another thing about the age is the mental factor like sometimes when you start to get in 32 33 34 and on and on you start to get a little bit more comfortable when you get comfortable you know it's a dangerous thing comfort's a dangerous thing in boxing you never want to be content you never want to settle you want to make sure that you still have that flame and that competitive nature in you and that killer instinct and, you know, the more and more I see Keith Thurman talking interviews, you know, since, you know, he's gotten married, he's been traveling, he's been commentating, planning to have kids one day. Those are just a lot of factors right there that can kind of take that competitive nature out of you, you know, because you have a wife, you have a family on a, on the rise, you know. So with all that being said, when you, when you start to have those things, they take you out of the mindset of, you know, working hard, getting into that uh, sweaty, gritty uh, dirty gym, you know, be like, why do I want to go here every day when I have a nice wife at home that cares about me, that keeps me in a mindset that's much more docile, you know? So th there's just those factors, you know, whenever he's kind of stuck in the middle with the home life and the, the welterweight division on this side, he's kind of caught in the middle right now. You know, he's kind of caught in that between that rock and the hard place. So at 32, if this is really what he wants, he better go and get it now. You know, he just has to make sure he's right physically and mentally. Like I said, he needs to stay healthy because the older you get, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to recover from injuries. So if you have like a minor injury now, you got to just say, hey, let me bite down and get in there and do it. Especially if it's not anything like, you know, something worse than like a neck injury or like a spine injury or like a lower back injury. If it's just somewhere wrong with the elbow or the hands, just evolve. You know, Mayweather's done it. He's had brittle hands throughout the uh, second half of his career as Money Mayweather. So he would just start to evolve his style more defensive minded, you know, more defensively, you know, um, not really committing to the hard punches anymore. So I think that's the same thing for Keith Thurman. Like if the elbow is bothering him, if the shoulders bother him, he just has to switch the style up because like I said, it's not going to get any easier from here. So he just has to kind of evolve with the evolve with his body, especially if he's talking about getting back in there with guys like Harold Spence, you know, you got to evolve, you got to change. Your body's not going to be the same as it was when you were in your twenties. So, yeah, that's another thing that he just needs to do. He needs to kind of work with the age, um, play it and play it into his factor. Use some of that experience and take it into the game with him. Because right now, the second point I want to make is the fact that the welterweight division, well, boxing is much like time. It doesn't wait for any fighter. It keeps going. You know, the wheels keep turning. They get faster sometimes whenever the competition and, and the uh when the competition is getting better and the fighters are more um, hungry and they have that momentum, the wheels get faster. And if, if a Keith Thurman comes in here slow and he jumps in the mix, he's going to get grounded up. You know, he's got to be able to jump right into the mix and run with it. You know, if he's just a, a weak link or weak wheel, he's going to fall off and break and they're just going to keep going without him. And right now, the welterweight division is thriving. We're still not, though we're still not getting all the fights that we want, the division is thriving. It does have a lot of sharks in there. You know, Danny's still holding his spot down, even coming off a loss. Sean Porter still holding his spot down. Um, 
Then you got, of course, the unified champion in Errol Spence Jr., who's considered number one. Um, he's had the belts, and after coming off a horrific car accident, he hadn't missed a beat. So that's another thing that kind of has to make Keith Thurman think, you know, hey, this guy over here, Errol Spence, he, he came off a life-threatening accident. It could have been a career-ending uh, career um, injury, but he came back into the game. So we're talking about Keith Thurman, who had little elbow problems and shoulder problems, and, you know, he came off accident, too, like a neck injury. But he came back strong at that time. But ever since then, like the hands and the, the elbows kind of been bothering him. He's got to rethink that and say, OK, man, well, if Errol did it, maybe I can do it. Because look, Errol's back into the mix. He defended his belts coming off the accident. So that's another thing that Keith Thurman has to think of. Look, this guy's this guy's strong. Do I really want to compete with a guy like that? Then you got the WBO champion in Ter Terrence Crawford. Five knockout, um, five knockout win streak. May not be the best competition, but he's one of the toughest fighters out there. Then you got Manny Pacquiao, who's still sitting on his belt, which I'm going to talk about in another video. Uh, you know, um, Keith Thurman's not really in the shape or the best of shape to uh, get a rematch with uh, Manny Pacquiao. So now's the time to get back in there. You know, you got to get back in there. Then you got the the new era coming in, Virtual Ortiz, uh, Boots Anis, you know, fighters like this that are in better condition than, than Keith Thurman. And they could probably give Keith Thurman a run for his money or possibly beat him, you know. Uh, Ugas, Ugas is still in the mix. You know, he has that WBA regular champion. So everybody's been kind of doing their thing. And everybody's kind of in their position where they're ready to fight for what's theirs. And they're in the prime shape of their careers. So for Keith Thurman right now, the longer he waits again, you know, if he puts this off another year or two, He's definitely going to be out of the mix. But now's the time where I feel like he still has enough fire in him to find that old Keith Thurman. You know, the better not duck me son, Keith Thurman. That guy, the one-time Thurman, he still has enough flame in him now. And, and time is still on his side. Just enough where he can go back in there and compete and use some of these skills that he used to have. Um, definitely against guys, maybe like even a rematch with Sean Porter, which... That would still be tough. Uh, he could still beat a guy like Danny Garcia, I feel like. Uh, I, I think he could still uh, go in there and beat Udenis Ugas, but it's not going to be easy. It's definitely not going to be easy. So he, he needs to go in there and make the statement against those fighters. Stop calling out Errol Spence for them at the moment. You know, be realistic. You know, after you've been gone for about two years, you got to go back in there and make sure that you have it and prove it to the boxing world that you have it. You don't want to waste the boxing fans' times because that's how you lose fans. You go in there and look like you did against Jose Zito Lopez, everybody's going to count you out. You know, then you lose to Manny Pacquiao, and they really counted you out. So you got to go back, rebuild, take on like a Ugas, take on a Jamal James, whatever. Uh, look good against those type of fighters. Then you call out Spence and Crawford. You know, that should be the goal for this year. You know, because like I said, I just feel like this is about it for Keith Thurman, man. Um, 32 years old. Uh, married more in the mindset of commentating and just kind of sitting the sidelines now but at the same time he's still talking about how he wants Errol Spence well it's the time to get it it's the time to get it because 2022 I don't think it'll be there for you if you remain inactive the whole year of 2021 so now's the time to get it all right man so yeah that's about it I have on this uh subject though man on this topic uh let me know in the comment section what you guys think I just kind of want to go back and revisit Keith Thurman because, yeah, I was a fan of Keith Thurman in the beginning. You know, um, seeing the majority of his fights, uh, I just kind of lost that energy for him whenever he didn't take the Errol Spence fight at the time. You know, he just went off on that um, marination talk and the fight was gone. And then all of a sudden his belts were gone. Then he was gone. So, you know, um, I'm a just I'm a just a fan of the fight game. And, you know, I got to respect the fight game. If you're not respecting it, why should I respect you? Not saying I lost a complete respect for him, but, yeah, he did, he just needs to. He just really needs to get back in there, though, man, and, and uh, prove his worth before he gets the Errol Spence fight. But, uh, yeah, man, that's all I got on this, guys. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the Jab Effect YouTube channel as well. I'm going to start doing more live streams, and you know, that's where our podcast is. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.